Okay, stay with me here. You are running down a corridor with three doors looming ahead of you. You hear the blood-chilling sounds of a vampire, mad scientist, and mutant animals all chasing after you. You have to choose one of the doors right away. The sounds are getting closer and closer and boo! Gotcha! Do you have the quick problem-solving skills to survive any dire situation? Well, take this test and find out! Hey, keep track of how many you get right. Your results will be at the end. Number 1. A vampire attack. A hungry vampire is following you on a lonely street one dark night. Suddenly, you see a house with its door wide open and decide to hide there. The vampire can't enter your shelter, but is patiently waiting outside. However, you still have some hope. There are three tunnels leading out of the house. But inside the first tunnel, there's molten lava. The walls of the second tunnel keep closing every 10 seconds, crushing everything that gets inside. As for the third tunnel, its floors are so rotted and weak that the slightest weight will collapse them and send you falling down into an abyss. What should you do? You have 10 seconds to figure it out. Hey, just wait till morning. Vampires can't stand daylight, and your pursuer will have to leave you alone. Number 2. A virus. A terrible virus broke free from a laboratory, and now all animals and plants on Earth are mutating at a horrifying speed. You've been trying to find the solution, but instead got trapped in a lab where it all started. There are three doors you can escape through. Are you starting to see the pattern? But behind the first one, there are some aggressive, flesh-eating cacti. The second door hides hundreds of extremely poisonous bees, and the third door prevents an attack from now fire-breathing cheetahs. Which door can lead you to freedom? Use your 10 seconds wisely. You can get out of there alive if you choose the first door. Even though the cacti eat flesh, they're still plants and can't move. So you can easily get around them. Number 3. Which lever? This time you've been captured by a mad scientist. He's probably the one who came up with that last virus. Anyway, he's locked you in a cage, but he left you a chance to escape. All you have to do is choose one of three levers on the wall next to you. The first lever lets hungry wolves into the cage. The second fills the cage with water. And the third lever sends a mechanism at the top of the cage crashing down toward the floor, threatening to squish you like a bug. Ew! Which lever should you opt for to survive? Your only choice is the second lever. Yeah, it's supposed to fill the cage with water, but all the liquid will flow out through the bars of the cage. Eh, the scientists should have thought that one through a little better. Number 4. A persistent pursuer. So, remember the vampire you managed to escape from some time ago? Bad news, it's nighttime again, and he's back on your trail. You managed to get to a room with not one, not two, but three buttons. When you press the first one, a bolt of lightning will strike the vampire. By pressing the second button, you'll make the room fill with treasures, golden and silver coins, dishes, and jewelry. You'll be able to hide among them. And the third button will point several lenses, concentrating sunlight at the vampire. Which button should you press? Think fast, he's coming! Lightning won't kill the vampire, and there's no sunlight at night. But silver hurts vampires when they touch it, so hiding in those silver coins is the best idea. Number 5. The dive of your life. You're diving in the ocean when you come across a beautiful underwater cave network. 
But soon enough, you get yourself lost and end up with just three tunnel exits to choose from ahead. In the first, you see a huge basking shark with a mouth big enough to gulp you up like a peanut. The second is swarming with box jellyfish, the most venomous species in the world. The third tunnel is extremely long, and your oxygen tank probably won't make the journey. So, which tunnel do you choose? Your 10 seconds start now. Eh, go with the first tunnel. Despite their huge size and scary-sounding name, basking sharks are totally harmless to humans. Number 6. An escape plan You're locked in a room. Again? You really should be more careful. And guess what? Yes, one of three doors is your escape route. Behind the first door, there's a crocodile that hasn't eaten for two years. The second door hides a lion that's been hungry for almost two weeks. And behind the third door, there's a red-hot desert. Which door leads to freedom? Well, before you assume those predators are long gone after starving like that, think again. Crocodiles can go up to three years without food, and lions can do the same for two weeks. So yeah, they're still alive, and you must look absolutely delicious to them. Just wait till the desert cools off at night and leave through the third door. Number 7. An ice castle Well, you find yourself stuck in an ice castle. Surprise, surprise. There are three doors you can escape through. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But behind the first door, you'll encounter an angry bear. Behind the second door, it's so cold you'll be frozen on the spot. And the corridor behind the third door is filled chest high with water swarming with piranhas. Which door will you choose? Now, if it's an ice castle, then the water behind the third door will also be frozen. Just climb on top of it and crawl out. Poor fishies, though. Wait a minute, they're piranha. Number 8. The Mad Scientist Magic Lotion Yes, he's back, and he's kidnapped you. The scientist wants to test his new protective cream on you. After covering you with this magic lotion, which you absolutely don't trust, he makes you choose one of three containers to jump in. One of the containers is filled with radioactive waste. In the second container, there's acid that can eat through metal. The third one is filled with lava from a volcano that destroyed a whole town a year ago. Which container will it be? You have 10 seconds to decide. Hey, pick the container with lava. If the volcano erupted a year ago, the lava will already be solid and cool. Number 9. Locked in a room Well, since you just outsmarted the scientist, he decides to throw you in a room. You can only escape your dungeon through a hatch in the ceiling. Why are you asking? Yes, there are three of them. But upon opening the first hatch, you'll be met by a nest of venomous snakes. A tank of boiling water is on top of the second hatch. And on the third hatch, there's that really hungry lion still waiting for a meal. He's uh, recycling the prizes here. Pretty smart, huh? So, which hatch should you pick to escape when the villain falls asleep? Yeah, choose the second one, because the boiling water will eventually evaporate. Number 10. A mutant beast. So, back to the virus that escaped from the lab. This virus has turned some innocent animals into horrifying monsters. One of them has the bottom part of a mantis and the top part of a hammerhead shark. The second one is even more bizarre – an ape with an iguana's head. And the third one is a tiger with the head of an elephant. 
you have to fight one of these animals in an arena. Yes, you do. So, which one will you choose to increase your chances of survival? Choose the mantis with the shark's head. Sharks can't breathe on land, so the monster won't even make it long enough for the fight to begin. Number 11. An angry rhino. You're a plastic surgeon and you just finished a bad nose job and the patient is furious with you. No wait, that's rhinoplasty. Never mind. You're really on an African safari when, uh-oh, there's a furious rhino straight ahead and it's about to charge. Will you try to scare the animal away by shouting and trying to look intimidating? Or will you hide in the bushes or behind a tree? Maybe you can outrun it. You've got 10 seconds before this guy makes a pancake out of you. The only effective way to escape an angry rhino is to hide behind a tree or in the bushes. These animals have really poor eyesight, and if you hide, they'll soon forget about you. And no, you can't outrun a charging rhino. They have a credit card. Charging rhino, get it? Number 12. A room without windows. Well, they must have a Mac. Okay, I'll stop. You're trapped in a room that's slowly getting filled with water coming from a faucet in the wall. There are no windows in the room, and the door is sealed shut. You have a mop and a big bucket. So, how are you going to get yourself out of this one? Hey! Just turn the faucet off! Yeah! And now, to the most exciting part, your results. If you cracked one to four riddles, you should probably avoid vampires, mad scientists, and any door you see. <laughs> I'm kidding, but you could use some more practice in solving survival riddles. There are plenty of those here on the bright side. If your result is 5 to 8 solved puzzles, then you have good chances to pull through the most unexpected difficulties and dangers life sometimes has in store. Practice more, and most difficulties will turn into all. But. If your score is 9 to 12, congratulations! A person like you can wriggle out of any difficulty. Be it getting lost in the jungle, fighting your way out of a stuck elevator, or forgetting to buy milk for breakfast. Hey, keep perfecting your skills! So, were you able to escape all these scenarios completely unscathed? Did you count how many bad puns I made? Do you want me to quit or keep going? However you feel, let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go on a blind date with a mad scientist just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is click on this left or right video and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life!